explained in less than 10 minutes. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Press the notification bell, you'll always be the first to know when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for the support you've given me, I really appreciate it. Remember, we are looking at a road to 1000 subscribers. Support this channel by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the bell icon. By the way, don't forget to comment, share in this video. In today's video, we are going to look at the passport and the visa, explained in less than 10 minutes. Remember, this was a question that was coming in one of the subscribers. Most of us we may know, but some people may not know the difference between a passport and a visa. By the way, which of the two is a subset of another? That is the question. Well, by the end of this video, I'm sure we will have the difference between a visa and a passport. Remember, a passport is one of the important documents a person needs to have. Especially if you are planning to travel, if you are planning to have vacation, or you are planning to visit any other foreign country away from your original country. Because it is the important document that will be required of you. The one document that will talk about you. The important document that will have the full information of you before you can be given access to any other foreign country. We look at a passport. Remember, a passport is just an official document. It is a very useful document for people who are looking for jobs, for people who are going for vacation, for people who are looking for greener pastures in any way it may be. People who are coming to the Gulf countries, people who are coming to Gulf countries to look for jobs, people who are moving to Europe to move jobs. You need a passport. A person is the only docu official document that will identify you, that will tell the originality of the country where you're coming from. That's why it's very important. So a passport is just an official document that is issued by your country of origin. Remember, it will contain all the full details of you. The full details I'm talking about, we have the full names, the nationality, date of birth, and all your bio data. That's why now we are having, uh, uh, having a world of what we call electronic passports. Moving that people no longer have to look for data from anywhere, but it's just a small document that will contain all what you have. Remember, when we are talking about the passports, it is just an official document that is issued by your government. And this one, it will require requirements at one moment of time. That some people may take it as a major, some take it as a minor. But remember, for you to access this passport in your country, there are some requirements you need to fulfill. There are some documents you need to present for your government to issue that passport. And this will depend according to particular government or particular uh, countries. Each country has, has its own requirement and each country has a different passport. But remember, there are some countries where you need not to travel with a passport, depending on the bilateral agreements between the two countries, between your country and that country. But still, much as that requirement is there, or much as that, that requirement is there at a time, you still need to have a passport, because it is the only document that can enable you to, trans to, to, to move from one country to another. So we got back to a situation for people looking for jobs. What do you need before even you wake up to plan to look for a job? away from your country, the document you're supposed to look for is a passport. 
Remember, the passport as can also can also be used as a way of getting assistance in a, from a caller or a, a consular office. Let's say, for example, you're being stuck in another country. It's the only document that you can use to get assistance in those consular uh, offices away from your country. Let us look at the visa. Remember, most of us may not know what a visa is. Personally speaking, for my first time when I had to travel, the first thing I asked was, what do I need to have? Someone told me passport. I looked for the passport as soon as possible. I personally got my first passport when I was in my senior six, advanced level. That was the first time I had the time to look at a passport. But remember, you may have a passport, but you may not have a, be a visa or a permission that grants you to cross over to another territory or to another foreign country. So I didn't know that I needed to have a visa. But a visa is just a conditional authorization that is issued or granted by a territory to a foreigner to either live in that country or work in that country. That permission given to you to live in that foreign country or to work in that country may depend. It may depend according, it, it, will, it will depend on the number of days or the number of weeks, the number of weeks you are being given to live in that country. But remember, the people in charge of giving that permission or that conditional permission, they have the right to deny a visa or to grant you a visa. Depending on what requirements you have to present it on the table. But remember, there are some countries where you need to travel without a visa. There are some countries where you travel with a visa on arrival. There are some countries that have what you call the visa waivers to another country. But all that depends on the bilateral agreements or depend on the trade agreements, agreements between the two countries. But remember, to some most situations, at most times, you will need a passport and a visa to go in another country. Wherever it may be, on arrival, it may be a waiver, but you will need a visa and a passport to cross over to another country, to most countries. For example, when you look at the African countries, we need visas to move to Europe. We need a visa to come to the Arab country. We need visa to come in the Gulf. The Gulf countries you know I'm talking about. So you need the visa to enter that foreign country. And the visa may be granted or denied depending on the requirements that are given to you. Or if you fulfill the requirements, they may grant you the visa. But if you may not fulfill the requirements, they may not grant you the visa. So all those are possible at one moment of time. Remember, to acquire a passport, each country has its individual requirements at the time for you to have that passport. And however, we see to some other countries, as I said, they have what you call the waiver, visa waivers to other countries. You may not need a visa to cross over to another country. As earlier I told you, it will definitely depend on the two countries' agreements. Hope I've tried to explain it well. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It is Max from the Max Creation. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't, for comment, don't forget to comment, share. Tell me what you feel about the video. Tell me what you like about the video. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Remember, we are looking at a road to 1,000 subscribers. Support this channel by subscribing and pressing the notification bell. You'll be updated when we upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it.
Don't forget to put a comment. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. See you again in the next 